here's a quick video on one of the stereo systems that I like to put in. Uh, it's a large screen, so if you're gonna do a backup camera. And we'll start by talking about the Alpine license plate frame here that installs very easily, and you can see the LEDs, that it already has LEDs built in. And then, of course, there's the backup camera, which it does pivot, so you can change the angle of it a little bit, but that's about the best angle since it's so low already, you kind of have to have it pointed up. So that's the license plate frame. The frame itself is in the neighborhood of $50. The camera addition to the frame is another $100. And now we'll go up in the car and look at how the stereo works and some of the functions on the stereo. So here is the Jensen CM901MIR large screen that fits very easily in the Beetle. It has some drawbacks, and the first one you'll notice is its proximity to the steering wheel right here. Now this isn't bad, but I have the steering wheel pulled all the way out. So it depends on where you like to have your steering wheel. Obviously, if you run your steering wheel all the way in, you're gonna hit your knuckles as you're turning, so I advise against that. So this stereo isn't for everyone. It also blocks your AC vents a little bit there and makes it harder to see your HVAC controls underneath. But this new version, one of the advantages of it is that it swivels. The previous 710 model didn't do this. So it tilts on its gimbal so you can angle it to where you can best see it and a little bit left to right. But it also swivels, which is kind of cool. And that can give you access to see your HVAC controls a little bit. The real advantage though, is when you go to the CarPlay function. So let's get it fired up. And I'm gonna turn it back to portrait mode here. So it does kind of the equivalent of Apple CarPlay. Let's go back to source. So it's called phone link in the Jensen system and we're going to hook up a Apple phone and then we'll see the screen on this screen from the phone. But the control is still from the phone. Okay, so we have the phone hooked up with the USB cable in the side and now we'll go. You can use buttons to navigate. This is a source button or you can use on the screen buttons. After you have linked it, you hook it up and you go to phone. And there you see that's the readout from my phone. So what I was talking about earlier with the pivot. Uh oh, did I turn it off? Oh, yeah, the phone went to sleep. <laughs> There we go. So now you can get full screen of your phone. So for example, if you want to go to nav, any of them, that works pretty well for nav off your phone. And again, we're controlling this off of the phone screen, not off of the, the radio screen. Any case, that's the CMR or CM901R from Jensen. It fits right in. Uh, I order them from Crutchfield, which I'm a big fan of that company, and they'll send you the little things that you need to make this work along with the stereo. For example, really hard to get a shot of it, but you can see there's an adapter here to make it fit the, the goofy beetle, beetle piece, but there's no modifications necessary. The flip screen one takes some modifications to your center console inside here to get that radio to fit in. This one fits right in, which is very handy. So really the only drawbacks is the proximity to the controls here by sliding the steering wheel out. I don't have any issues with that, uh, but it does make getting to your HVAC controls a little more complicated. But if you're after a big screen, uh, for example, the reverse camera, there's the camera. It's a nice big uh, 
big image. Uh, if you're a little creative in your build, I mentioned I use the rear window defrost as an auxiliary power for the backup lights and the backup camera. So now if you push that button, the backup lights are on and we have camera. So if you're checking on a trailer or you're just sitting in a parking lot, you wanna see what's behind the car without putting it in reverse, or you're going down the road and you, for whatever reason you wanna see behind you, you can just hit the defrost button. All right, hopefully that's helpful to y'all.